All right, part two with Fiona Chu. Hopefully we don't have any, uh, any more technology hiccups. And uh, so let's go back to where we were. I, I was just saying, uh, hey, listen, um, as agents, we're getting lots of calls. Uh, our clients wanna know where things stand uh, with their homes, with the marketplace in general, um, you know, where things were at with activity. And um, so what are you saying? What, you know, how are you comforting people right now, your clients um, who wanna either do business now or do business you know, in the near future? Um, they wanna know what's going on. Um, well, first of all, sorry, I live in Ancaster and anyone that does knows it wasn't even Zoom's fault. I just lost internet connection and, and power blips, um, which happen all the time. They thought to be smart and put all of the uh, wires oh. underground and it was not. Um, so saying that, uh, thank you. So and, and I've now changed, obviously. Um, I'm wearing different clothes. The reason being is I was out all day picking um, uh, canned goods for the food drive that we're doing as a team. Yes. And it's still the number one question that I got asked 15 feet away from fen friends and um, clients is, what's going on? My neighbor put their house on the market. It, it sold. Like, what, you know, so basically we're all trying to take in as much information as we can. Um, and my response to everyone is it's very healthy. It's slowed down, which it should have, because we have to be very careful and very delicate on how we treat each um, interaction and, and how we kind of navigate people now. It's a, it's a 180 from what we used to do. So the market's still going. It's There's people still moving. There is obviously that ethical moral question is to oh, can I buy something? Should I sell my house right now? And I think it, it, it all depends on what those individual needs and wants are. And, and you kind of have to go through a checklist. Um, I think, and I've said this before, when we come out of the tunnel that we're kind of all stuck in, there's going to be a bit of... Uh, an awakening and, and a busyness where people haven't been able to do anything or, or touch anything, not t like e tangibly, that I think it's going to be a very busy, different time than we've ever seen, I think, ever in our industry before, because we've not had a global pandemic that's asked us to quarantine for this long. So healthy market, I think maybe starving people to maybe also spend some money. <laughs> I don't know. You can take that out. I don't know. Just because. You know since we talked last, because I know you were out uh, this afternoon uh, doing porch pickups for our canned uh, food drive. Uh, mm -hmm. Just a quick note on that canned food drive that we're doing for the Stony Creek Food Bank, who is in need of, uh, of some stock. So uh, we've got a, a fantastic food drive going. And uh, so thank you for doing your part today and picking up from your clients and and friends and people um porch pickup distancing of course physical distancing important but uh anyway where was i going so i read something from phil soper today phil soper ceo of, of royal page canada uh -huh. and uh, he made a good point is that you know in your typical recessionary times in the past it's been you know a flood of houses coming on the market while the buyers retreat out of the market Whereas right now, that is not the case. It's completely different. Again, inventory levels are so low. There's mm -hmm. not a glutton of houses on the market or predicted to come on the market. Um, and, and it's that seller market versus buyer market. Um, you know, the buyer market is when there's a flood of listings and, and you know, months of inventory. Uh, five, six, seven months of inventory, and, and the buyers have the, have the pickings. Uh, again, that's not the case uh, moving through this, and uh, uh, we'll see what kind of inventory levels we have in the next 30 to 60 days, but there's not an abundance of inventory, even though the buyers have retreated from the market. We know activity's down, as it should be. Stay home, people. You know, unless you have to sell, have to buy, stay home. Don't come into the market. So all of that activity has retreated. Uh, we'll yeah. see what happens uh, coming out of this. But again, 
you know, Phil, always a, a great source of information. Uh, we're going to post some of the things that uh, um, he reported today on our on our team Facebook page. So look for that in the next uh, 24 hours. But um, anyway, so um, that's it. That was easy. Part two, part one, part two. Um, anyway, I'm glad we had a chance to talk. I'm, I'm loving the interaction we're, we're having with the team. And uh, um, we're going to be on another team chat in the next 24 hours as well. And uh, and uh, bring to light some of the stuff Phil's talking about today. So any last questions, comments, uh, thoughts on your part? Um, no, just for going back, I live with a nurse and I hear what's going on every single day. And I actually saw three nurses today on my, um, my journey, my, my four hour journey of around the city picking up, uh, uh can goods and and thank you and i have another day full of it tomorrow um and they're all telling me you know just we're doing the right thing because they're not as stressed as they are i think because of the situation they're not super stressed they're not overwhelmed so i can put that ease to people right now from every nurse that i've talked to they're not overwhelmed with the system right now good to hear it's, um it's you know they're cautious and they're being very careful um, but they're happy. I mean, I, I, it also, I think it's, you know, you, when you get out of your car to get canned goods from a porch and, you know, the person there is going, air hugs, hi, everybody's just so excited to have a little bit of, oh, I know you, I can say hi to you, even though you're 20 feet apart. <laughs> um, and I'm wearing a mask because my husband wouldn't let me go out without one. Um, yeah, just, just stay safe and, there is light at the end of the tunnel because we've all been behaving as a society and uh, as a province. So I just awesome. am really happy for us. And very good I point. Love being part of this team. So Thank I'm you. so excited. Great point. So, all right, you will listen, be safe. Say hi to everybody over there and uh, we'll be chatting soon. And thank you so much again. I'll mention the food drive again, which is so important. And thank you for your efforts in, uh, in helping us collect food. So everybody hope you have a great day and uh, look for another team chat uh shelly baker gracie's coming up in a couple of days so uh we'll be chatting and uh we'll go from there all right you take care sounds good thanks martin bye-bye now